Welcome to the channel and welcome to this unboxing video. Today we are looking at Warhammer Quest Cursed City Night Wars. So GW have sent me Night Wars free of charge to review and unbox for your good selves. Now you can see in the background here, this is Cursed City. I already had this. Uh, being the um, hobby magpie that I am, I got this when it came out. I've only taken the cellophane off it today. Uh, so as to do some... So I can see what's in here compared compare when I open this. Um, it's one of these things that sits on the shelf. And I go, oh, well, I would love to have all that painted. But... It is a ways down the queue. I believe this uh, they've done another run of this and it's gone up for pre-order today at the same time. So, the first thing to say about this is that there are no models inside. It is game components, rules and cards. And then it lists here the models that are required to play. And they are... The Thirsting Blade, Radikar the Beast, the Rat Prince, Vampire Lord, and Fell Bats. Now, if you are an Age of Sigmar player and you have a Soul Blight army, chances are you have a number of these and you can just go straight into using them. Happy days. However, if you do not already have them, the RRP on these five kits is £125 sterling. On top of the cost of buying the box, which for me really does not make it great value. Um, you know, at all, if you haven't already got those, because you're then, I can't remember how much this is, but you're looking at what, 150 for the expansion? That's more than the box costs. So, yeah, not great. That said, let's have a look inside and see what we got. Nice bit of standing up cardboard, kind of like a, a GM screen from back in the day. Okay, we have cards, tokens, books. Let's see. Obviously, we have cards for the bad guys. We've got the Rat Prince, the Thirsting Blade, Camilla Dusang, uh, Felbats, and Radikar the Beast, and then. Um, the Night Wars Hunting, obviously this is a card that you would use if you are familiar with the rules of the game, which I am not at present. I played Blackstone Fortress, but um, obviously there will be differences. What else do we have in here? We've got uh, Blade the Blade Master, the Warlord Traits of some sort. I'm not sure what these are. Go on, let me shoo. Shoo, 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 shoo. Uh, discovery cards, treasure, realmstone, crisis, crisis, resolve one of the crises from your journey in the book. So these will be things that you turn over at given points and you're like, yay, it's realmstone, yay, it's treasure, oh no, it's a crisis. <laughs> I love that kind of stuff. I want to play this now. And now we have two sealed envelopes with vampire trait, vampiric powers, right? Let me off your pop, off your pop. Um, level two vampiric powers, level three vampiric powers. Uh, these are sealed and you only find them out when you open them at that point in the game. I'm sure some people tear them open anyway, but not me. Oh no, not me. Then what else we've got? We've got more traits, blade master, primus, executioner, scholar, um, cards for those. Uh, more discovery. More discovery. Uh, yep, these are discovery. Then, what are these ones? These look like vampires. Uh, uh, Camellia, Chrissa, and Lady, and Ki, and Ki, Anika. With, uh, you know, event card type things. Uh, encounters, 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 
Uh, one Radicar the Beast. It's a good job you don't get two Radicar the Beasts when things go up. Felbat's scale, it would appear. Okay, so that's those cards. Then we have in the cellophane, this is what looks like map tiles and tokens. Is there anything else in here? Yes, it's just the book and map tiles and tokens. I'm not going to go through the book because going through the book is like showing you rules and stuff. And I also don't know how all that works, so it wouldn't really mean much. But we've got raveny tokens, we've got big splash of blood type tokens. That looks like some kind of horde of blood rats. Uh, map tokens. They look like vampire tokens of some sort. And the rule book. So there we go. That is what you get in the box. Which, if you didn't have to spend £125 on models, would probably be cool. I mean, I can see why. I can just imagine the conversation at, at head office. Well, we can't not put the models in. Yes, but if we put the models in, then box breakers will just buy them, split them up, and we won't sell any more units of these five things because... People will buy them dead cheap off the internet and will never sell anything more. Someone's gone, well. So we're just going to put a thing out without you models that you've got to spend 125 quid on. Yep. Okay, well, as I said, I, I mean, being a Warhammer Quest fan, I don't know that I would buy this if I hadn't just been sent it because, you know, I don't have those models. And, uh, I, yeah, it's a lot to spend just to, just to play an expansion. I mean, I'm assuming you could put in whichever ones you've got. There are event cards for them. Obviously, it's difficult to know without reading the book, but maybe you can put bits of these in and play with your main kit. I don't know. But... What I will say is there's a Cursed City novel and an audiobook, and it is superb! It's really good. I really, 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 really enjoyed it. It's like a prequel to the game, and I really enjoyed that. Uh, anyway, <laughs> that's it for this uh, unboxing. Not a lot to unbox, and I don't want to mention the cost of the miniatures a third time. I uh, hope you found this useful. Uh, what's the saying? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Right. Okay, or, you know, just watch it and, and, and be happy. Uh, take care, everyone. See you in the next one. Bye for now.